In an era when Britannia ruled the waves, one vessel reigned supreme, a technological marvel that rendered all other warships obsolete overnight. This is the story of HMS Warrior, the world's first iron-hulled armored battleship. Launched in 1860, HMS Warrior was a direct response to France's naval ambitions. But she was more than just a rival, she was a revolution. Her hull, a formidable combination of wrought iron and thick teak, could withstand the most powerful cannons of the age. This mighty ship, the largest warship of her day, was a fortress of the sea. HMS Warrior was a hybrid of the old and the new. Her heart was a massive steam engine, capable of propelling her at speeds unheard of for a ship of her size. Yet, she also carried a full set of sails, giving her a global reach. This combination of power and versatility made her the most formidable vessel on the planet. Armed with a fearsome array of Armstrong guns, HMS Warrior was a deterrent of immense power. So much so that she never fired a shot in anger. Her very existence was enough to maintain peace, a testament to the old adage, if you want peace, prepare for war. She was the ultimate symbol of Britain's industrial and naval might. That's the 68 pound smooth bore muzzle loaded Dundas. Yeah. That is the second most powerful weapon in active service the world has ever known. The third most powerful weapon in active service currently are the 40 pounder training tools above our technology. With all modern technology, and all it's right the first time. First time this style of gun was fired in anger, it wasn't a board warrior, don't worry, but it was aimed at a Japanese village castle and it was hitting a Japanese village instead. The threads of the screw here weren't made accurately enough. There was enough give they kicked against the bent piece to send the shot awry. That took 18 months to fix. Now the issue, because there's one, two, three pieces of our skin is still so I'll let you know. See, again, what happens to iron when it gets hot? It expands so much so the breach here is seven inch in diameter, and the munitions, these two, are seven and an eighth. The soft bit of lead on the side here is being eaten away by the rifling. But as naval technology advanced, HMS Warrior was eventually outpaced. After decades of service, she was relegated to a floating oil jetty, her glorious past almost forgotten. 
It wasn't until the late 20th century that a monumental effort began to restore her to her former glory. After years of painstaking work, she returned to Portsmouth, a proud testament to Victorian ingenuity. Today, HMS Warrior rests in the Portsmouth Historic Dockyard, a living museum that transports you back to the age of steam and iron. Walk her decks, feel the power of her guns, and imagine life as a Victorian sailor. A visit to HMS Warrior is more than just a history lesson. It's an unforgettable journey into the heart of Britain's maritime heritage. Thanks for coming aboard with me to explore the magnificent HMS Warrior. If you enjoyed this journey into naval history, be sure to like and subscribe. We can't wait to see you for our next adventure.